All right, which color? Which color? I choose this color. Green, my favorite color. Yeah! All right, hi guys, and welcome to a new episode on this channel. Today, we will be talking about green colored Mark Twain's short stories, which is some learned fables for good old boys and girls. And literally, we will be going through everything that I have been talking about. And so, let's get started! Now, this episode is run by no one, and yeah, let's get started. Now, this story, it talks a lot about some good fables and three parts, or three parts. First of all, how the animals of the woods send out to a scientific expedition, and they're like, Alright guys, so there are some people on this wooden place, and we're gonna find it, and it's this best scientific expedition. Like, how do we go for, how do we go there, where the body is actually lying? We don't want your brains, all right? We want to go there. All right, shoot yourself. Ah! Respawn. Ow, that hurt. Oh, okay, let's go to that place. They found nobody. How about we just go to the place I said? We don't want your brains. Like, okay, okay, okay. We want to go there. And I'm like, okay. Nobody. How about go to that place? We don't want your brains. And literally, that's how everything happened. All right, all right. We want to go here. How about we really go there? Oh, all right, all right, all right. Hey, there's a body. See, told you. We don't want your brains. And then, hey, maybe we should use his brains. Yeah, maybe we should. And literally, that's how he became part of the scientific community. Yay, body. Crumbled to crumbled. Hey, this is fake. Uh-oh. We don't want your brains anymore! And that's how literally everything happened here. First of all, that's the first one. The second part literally talks a lot. Literally talks about what's here somewhere. It talks about the Waterside Museum and literally how everything is cool and all that stuff. And now the first part is literally like that, and then there's the water pool and all that stuff. The part, the second part is how the animals of the wood complete their scientific labors. And they found their body. And I actually went through all of the story already, and that's how the story ends. So yeah. Blue's like, how about we go to the place where the body is? Like, we don't want your brain, we want your muscle. Alright, start digging right over here. Oh, alright. Nobody. Hey. Alright. Go there. Dig. All right, found the body. Yay, the body, the body. And we got all of it because of our brains. Hey, I'm the one who was credited in finding the body and discovering it. Oh, all right. Ah. And that's how everything ended. Now, I have to say that this fable is like trust in others. Don't just rely others on their strength. Just rely them on other stuff too, such as brain muscle. And literally everything I want to say here. I just want to say here that what I learned through this book is that how you should respect others when they're trying to help, try it. If you know that it won't work, don't just say, think about it. Think about what the expedition is like and then say your opinion. Then if all your failed, if you have too many failed attempts, try that person's place. And that's how it happened. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next episode. Shunhan out!